Example 45. Use the table below which summarizes the results of a 2004 study. Find the probability of a single randomly selected subject being very happy or earning 90,000 or more per year. Okay, so when I look at this problem, the first thing I see is, of course, to find the probability statement. So I know it's a probability problem. And then I notice that they're only selecting one single subject, right? One single subject. And then lastly, I see this word or here. The fact that it's a probability problem, they're taking just one single subject, and we have the word or present in the problem, indicates to me that this is going to be an addition rule of probability problems. So if it's, that, if it's going to be that kind of probability, the first thing I'm going to do is write out the statement then, the probability statement. So this is the probability of being very happy or earning $90,000 or more per year. So what I'm going to say then is we're looking for the probability of very happy or 90k plus per year. So 90k, of course 90k meaning 90,000, right? So very happy or 90,000 or more per year. That's the probability we're looking for, right? Now if we're doing addition rule, this is going to break down into three little probability statements. The first one saying, of course, very happy. The second one would be the second piece, which is $90,000 or more per year, so a probability of 90k plus. The plus here is just saying or more, right? That's all I'm trying to do there, just shorthand that. And then minus, and what's the next one? The next one is the probability that you're both of these things, right? So very happy and uh, $90,000 per year plus, right? So very happy plus 90,000K per year or more minus the probability of very happy and you earn $90,000 per year or more. Okay, so let's put that together then as three probability fractions. So a fraction plus a fraction minus a fraction. And the way we're going to fill in these is very simple. We're going to say for each one, number of over total, right? Number of over total. Number of over total. Remember, basic probability is what um, comprises or what you use to make up each of these fractions, right? And basic probability fractions always say number of over total, right? Number of over total. Number of over total. So here, the number of part here, in this case, we're going to say number of people who are very happy, right? Number of people who are very happy, or number of subjects who are very happy, right? Number of subs who are very happy over the total number of subjects, right? Number of subs earning, right? 90k or more per year, right? And then number of very happy 90k earners, right? So a number of very happy 90k earners. That blends them together, right? The two categories put together. All right, excellent. So now that we have all the words done, all the thinking has been done, and that means we can just put numbers in now, and we should be able to know those numbers very easily because we have a very clear roadmap of what has to go where, right? Number of subjects who are very happy. Well, I'll find the very happy row and go all the way to the end where I have the total for that group. It's 372 people reported being very happy. The total number of people in the study is the grand total, which is 1,173. Plus, the number of subjects earning 90,000 or more per year. Well, how many subjects earned that amount of money? A total of 106. Over the grand total, 1,173. Minus the number of very happy 90,000 per year earners, right? So people in this category who were also simultaneously in the very happy category. This is called an intersection. When you have the word end here, right? Very happy, end, 90K, that's an intersection. And when you look at the table like this, a two-way table, it actually forms a physical intersection, right? So this kind of road almost, right? This north-south road intersects with this east-west road where? Well, they intersect at 45. And that, that group of 45 are the people who earn this amount of money per year and who are also simultaneously very happy. So 45 people fit into that category.
out of a grand total of 1173, 1173. All right, let's take those numbers now and enter them into our calculator and see what we get ultimately. So, putting it all together, it looks like we have 372 divided by 1173 plus 106 divided by 1173 minus 45 divided by 1173. And when you do all that, you get a decimal answer of approximately 0.369. So 0 0.369, or about 37% uh, or so. Just a heads up, if you wanted to plug this in your calculator a little faster, you don't have to put the denominators all separately. You can just do um, you know, a big numerator, 372 plus 106 plus 45, since they all have the same denominator, and then close that parenthesis up and divide by 1173, and you will in fact get the, oops, I must have typed in something a little off here. Yes, I put plus 45 there. At the very end of my fraction, I put plus 45. That, of course, has to be minus 45. And when you're done, you get the same answer, 0. 0.369. So again, because they have the same denominator, you don't need to actually type in each fraction separately. You can just put all the numerators in one big um, you know, statement and with a parenthesis around it and then divide by 1173 and you'll get to this number just a little bit faster. So let's interpret this real quick. What they're saying is that basically, you know, the percent of people who are either in this study very happy or earn this amount of money is about 37%, right? So the word or means essentially that this is the probability when you grab one randomly selected subject from the group, they would either be a part of this group or a part of this group or perhaps part of both, right? So about 37% of the sample fell into one of these two categories or into both. And that's it.